a nail technician. Students are required to complete a certain number of training hours in addition to completing their coursework. The number of training hours required will depend on the state in which you attend school, as each has different requirements. For example, you need 250 hours of training to qualify in New York, but 600 in Arizona. These training hours combine theory and practice, so students can exp expand on what they've learned in the classroom and get hands-on experience before entering the field. Students will practice salon services on real clients, including manicures, pedicures, and advanced nail techniques. Nail technician and cosmetology programs may be similar, but there are also distinct differences. On a basic level, nail tech programs focus solely on nails, whereas cosmetology programs feature nails but also include other specialities like hair. Cosmetologists are trained to do nail work and develop other skill sets, whereas nail techs can only legally work within their scope. Accreditation. Some states require nail techs to complete an accredited program to work professionally. It's essential to choose a technician curriculum that matches the requirements for your state's license exam. Financial aid, scholarships, and loans. Not all programs are eligible for government financial aid. If you need financial assistance, review different programs and see what aid and scholarships are available. If you borrow money to complete your studies, make sure you understand the loan repayment terms. License Renewal and Continuing Education Be sure to review the license renewal and continuing education requirements of your state since they can vary. There is a big difference in the costs, schedules, and continuing education rules. Program Structure Choose a program that fits your lifestyle. Some programs might take place entirely on campus or run Monday through Friday, and that might affect your ability to work while in school. Job placement services and networking. See if your school offers opportunities to connect students with mentors or help place graduates in jobs. additional certifications and trainings. Nail technicians might want to receive advanced training for several reasons. Aside from brushing up on your skills, nail art is featured everywhere from celebrities and fashion magazines and dedicated Pinterest communities. A popular nail trend might inspire you to learn a new advanced technique so that you can take on more clients. Yearly nationwide meetups for professionals and those currently enrolled in a nail tech program. Attendees can network, enter competitions for prizes, and go to workshops to learn difficult techniques, such as mastering watercolor nail art. Certain professional organizations and salons also offer advanced education courses. Advanced courses with a healthcare slant for nail techs who might be interested in working in a podiatrist office. Nail techs in some states are required to continue their education in the form of extra training hours to renew their license. The requirement will vary based on each state board. Nail technicians need to complete the following three steps to legally work in the field. One, apply to a nail technician program. Applicants will need to be at least 16 years old and possess a high school diploma or GED. However, age and education stipulations vary and some regions don't have any prerequisite requirements at all. Some states also have a good moral character clause for complete a nail technician program. Next, you must complete a state-approved program, su successfully passing the necessary courses and completing the required number of training hours. Some states allow students to take on apprenticeships instead of going through a traditional program, but you will usually need to fulfill a lot more training hours on this route. On top of class time, you'll also have training hours where you'll apply what you've learned on real-life clients under the supervision of an instructor. Many programs can be completed in three to nine months. 
pass the required exam and obtain licensure. After completing a nail tech program, you'll take a written and or practical exam, usually in the form of a national standard theory or state board approved test. Students who have completed an apprenticeship are still required to pass their state exam to practice in the field. The score needed to pass varies by state. Once you pass, you can become licensed. In addition to an exam, some states may require additional education. For example, Florida requires program graduates to complete an HIV slash AIDS course. Once you're in the field, you may need to, to take continuing education classes to maintain your license. Depending on your state, your license may expire yearly, every two years, or a different time frame altogether. Each state also has different requirements for continuing education units. These classes may focus on advanced nail techniques or state laws, for example, and you can sometimes complete them online. When it comes to nail styles themselves, there's a lot to learn. There are several different styles and techniques nail techs typically have in their repertoire. One is acrylic. It's a mixture of liquid and powder that's used to cover the nails and affix artificial nails or tips to them. Acrylics grow out with the natural nails and can be filled or removed by soaking them in nail polish remover. Gel. These are brushed onto the nails or nail tips and dried under a UV light. Typically more expensive, but generally last longer. Like acrylics, they can be filled or removed with nail polish remover. Dip powder. After a base coat has been applied, the nail is dipped into a powder. The process is repeated and then finished with a sealant. It dries instantly and can be removed with nail polish remover, though the process might take longer. Silk. These are fabric racks that are fitted onto the nail and then glued. They are used to help a cracked nail grow out and can be removed or reapplied by a nail technician. Paraffin wax treatments. During this treatment, the client's hands or feet are covered with warm wax providing a soothing, hydrating experience. This is usually accompanied by a standard manicure or pedicure and light massage in those areas. A nail technician can work in many different settings. There are more familiar ones, such as a nail or hair salon. Um, they can also work at a spa whether standalone or within a, sin, a gym, health center, or hotel, many spas contain nail stations. Airport. Large airports around the country sometimes have small nail care stations where patrons can get manicures or pedicures before or after a flight. Cruise ship. If you have a sense of adventure, you might consider working on a cruise ship. These ships usually offer guest nail services on board. Nail Tech Instructor If you enjoy what you do and want to educate others, why not bring that passion to teaching? Additional education and experience in the field may be required to be an instructor in a nail tech program per your state. Doctor's Office you might be able to find work helping patients with specific health issues in a podiatrist's office. Some nail techs choose to operate their own salon or mobile business too. If you're employed in a traditional nail tech setting, say a salon or spa, you'll work a variety of hours. Because you work with the public, a lot of these hours will be in the evening and on weekends, where most people are free to seek out your services. You may work a full eight-hour shift or work a part-time schedule. The hours worked are usually early or mid-morning until the late evening, seven days a week. However, some places offer different weekend hours and may be closed one or two days a week. Other privately owned or specialty facilities may have different hours of availability altogether.